Steve Ash is my name. And permit me to get my screen shared again. Okay. Hopefully folks can see a screen that says the College of Business. Um, and this is a short presentation I'll make a little bit about our graduate programs here at the University of Akron in the College of Business. And then we'll open it up for questions or clarifications or any other information that folks might seek. I am delighted to be joined by Mr. Greg McCallis. Um, and Greg, if you would just give a wave, and Christina Floyd. And these are the folks that uh, actually have the answers to any hard questions. That's why I ask their help and participation if people really have something uh, difficult that they want an answer to. So this is a photo who've not been to our facility of our College of Business. It is in downtown Akron. We're actually a, a lovely urban campus for those who've not visited. And as I'd mentioned before, my name is Steve Ash. I am the assistant dean. I'm over academic programs and I'm the director of graduate programs here in the College of Business. If you have follow up questions or information that you seek that we were not able to provide, I'm pretty easy to find if you can just remember my last name. So email address is ash at uacron.edu, but I'm pretty easy to look up probably if you just look up for Ash at University of Akron. So, um, first, why might an individual want to pursue a graduate degree in business? Well, I think there's several reasons why. The first is for changes in career paths. So people come to schools of business from all kinds of backgrounds. They might have done an undergraduate in business, but they could have done an undergraduate or different degree route through any other area. This is one of the, um, oh, somebody's saying the screen looks gray. So let me get confirmation. Can anybody else see the screen in full color? I'm seeing it okay right now. I'm okay. Okay, so I don't know what to say about individual setups. I apologize if it's not coming through properly. Thank you for the note though. Um, this will be recorded. So it could be that uh, we'll probably put it up on our YouTube site for College of Business at University of Akron. So maybe if this uh, broadcast isn't working, hopefully the recorded version will look better on your screen. In addition to the different career paths people are coming from where they want to change kind of trajectory or direction, there are clear financial benefits from having a graduate degree from one of our programs in the College of Business, and so a lot of people are interested in that. We also have the opportunity for people to develop expertise in new and distinct ways. We really keep much closer to uh, the marketplace needs and demands, and so um, it, it, it's clear that you know if people want to get sharp on analytics or new social media marketing or financing opportunities that this is a route to take. In addition, we have the ability to just increase the sheer number of opportunities. Our, our business graduates work in every industry and not just business. I would say every type of organization requires some business level skill set. And then last, I want to make it clear that we believe that it is through ethical business leadership that we actually change the world for the better. And I really don't like it when people think that people go to business school just because they're greedy and want to make more money. Yes, making more money is nice, but we actually think it's through ethical leadership of conscious, socially conscious organizations and businesses that we make all the improvements. I would challenge you to think of any global problem and I'll be able to help you understand better how it's businesses that will help solve those problems and make it a better place. So we believe we're a force for good in the world. So a little bit about the College of Business. We started offering business courses all the way back in 1916. We've been officially established as a professional college since 1953. That makes us one of the older colleges of businesses in the country. 
We've also been accredited by AACSB since 1965. Now, this might not mean much to you right now, but AACSB is the highest level of business school accreditation that any organization can achieve. And so we've been accredited since 1965 actually says a lot. Because of that, we've been a key source of talent for both small and large organizations, not just in Ohio, not just the United States, but actually around the world. So let me review what the graduate degree options are for those interested in business. First is the MBA, the Master of Business Administration. This is comprised of 36 credit hours. Then we have a Master of Science in Accounting, the MSA, which is 30 hours. We have a Master of Taxation, the MTAX program, which is 30 credit hours. We have a Master of Science in Management, Business Analytics, that's our MSM degree in Analytics, which is also 30 credit hours. And then we have joint degrees. Our joint MBA degrees partner with law, the PharmD, the pharmacy program, and the MD program with Neomed. Um, I'm not gonna spend time in this presentation talking about the joint programs, but Christina Floyd is our resident expert and she'll be happy to work with you individually if you plan on doing it jointly with one of these other professional degrees. So a little bit about each, what's the difference? The Master of Business Administration, the MBA, is actually the most popular graduate degree in the country and probably the world. And that's because it provides uh, those students who pursue it with technical knowledge about business, how to conduct business, the language of business, how to make deals. It also teaches managerial techniques, how to work with people and specific leadership skills, how to motivate and engage employees and followers. So this is the set of skills that many students are after when they want to change their directions or move to a different level in an organization. So it prepares graduates to lead business functions for all types of organizations. And I have to point out, it was originally designed as a graduate degree for non-business majors. So art students or engineering students or medical experts, it was the MBA that was pursued originally for those people who wanted to move into manager and leadership skills. And that still is a great source of attraction from very, very different disciplines. Although there are a number of undergraduates in business that decide they want the master's um, degree as well. So here at the University of Akron, our MBA actually has three different options also. We have an evening MBA, we have a fully online MBA, and we have a weekend professional MBA. And I'll just say a word about each of those. The evening MBA is comprised of courses, each of which is eight weeks in length. It's delivered in a hybrid approach so that generally one evening per week you would meet face to face, and then you'd have some online course week. And so every eight weeks you get to focus on a different course. Most students would take one at a time. It is possible to do two at a time, but it is quite a bit of work. With this layout, you can move at your own speed. You can take as many courses at a time as you want. You can skip here and there, so you can take as long as you need to complete the program, so long as it's within the six-year window. The online MBA, as you would guess, is completely online in an asynchronous format. So you would um, tune in to the recorded lectures and activities whenever it's most convenient to you. You can study and learn on your own time. It's the same instructors and the same content as our evening MBA, but this one maximizes the student's time vis-a-vis -vis flexibility. So students that have challenges with time or geographic location, we have students from all over, the online is the most flexible. And then the third option is the weekend professional MBA. This one runs as a, an executive model. This is a cohort program, meaning students would stop and start together. It is a 19 month program. And so everybody comes in on the same day, you get to know a group of other people very, very well, develop strong bonds and friendships between them. Each of the courses are about six weeks in length and they contain three all-day Saturday face-to-face -face meetings. 
So basically, you would go to school every other Saturday for the 19 month period and at the end you graduate together. This program includes a lot of other unique features. It has a very nice breakfast, wonderful lunches and snacks. There's a built in study abroad trip, assuming we get past COVID. Um, we bring in special executive guest speakers and provide networking opportunities. We have a really cool professional leadership um, development program that we built into this program. We partner with an executive development um, institution. We conduct a full 360 degree assessment on each individual. There are individualized leadership development plans. You're assigned a specific coach and mentor that you would work with to enhance your skill set. And uh, it, it's really quite an intriguing program that the students rave about that are in it. It does require a minimum of three years of full time work experience to be admitted to this program. And this and this cohort usually includes all kinds of different professionals. So if you're really looking to expand your network, this is probably the option you might be interested. We often have PhDs and medical doctors and dentists and attorneys and school teachers and um, you know, electrical engineers and everything else kind of mixed into each cohort. And then the next graduate program is the Master of Science in Accountancy. This has a very high CPA exam pass rate and very high job placement rate. The CPA exam review is actually built into the program. It is designed for business or non-business undergraduates. Um, and you should know that those that go on to earn a master's degree earn about $23,000 more per year than just the undergraduates. And if you get your CPA, it goes up to about 25,000 um, extra dollars per year on average. Another option is the Master of Taxation, the MTAX program. There are two distinct options for the MTAX. There's a face-to-face -face or a 100% online option. The online MTAX program uses a 15-month cohort program. The evening MTAX program is face-to-face -face and it lets you move through at your own pace, kind of like our evening MBA program. UA is the only school in Ohio that offers an MTAX program and it's actually popular throughout the nation. It is one of the most affordable graduate taxation programs in the United States and we use nationally recognized experts as the faculty. They have extensive experience in programs. You also probably can guess that there's really a high demand for taxation specialists, which translates to very high salaries. The next degree option is the MSM in business analytics. This has two different concentrations you could choose from. The first is the information systems. So this one provides a technical foundation on top of the business analytics where you learn about big data, machine learning and programming. The emphasis is really on the how and why of creating models and how to use data properly to help make decisions. The second concentration option within the MSM business analytics is in supply chain management. Here, the focus is on sourcing and pr procurement opportunities, manufacturing and service operations, and logistics of how to move things through the supply chain. Um, students learn how to identify the right sources of materials, how to negotiate the deals, how to get them moving through the system to the end customers. So it's all the analytical tools for this supply chain decision making and how to optimize performance. So those are the two options of the MSM business analytics. And now I just want to spend a minute talking about what makes our College of Business at the University of Akron unique. We are fortunate to live in a state that has a lot of great business schools. Northeast Ohio has a number of competitors. Each of them have very nice programs. Here's what makes University of Akron unique in my opinion. Number five is our rankings. As I mentioned before, we have earned AACSB dual accreditation um, all the way since 1963. Being AACSB dual accredited puts us right away in the top about 1% of all business schools worldwide. We're also ranked as the highest part-time MBA program in Northeast Ohio by US, US News and World Report. The Princeton Review lists us as a best business school and has said so ever since 2005. 
Bloomberg Business Week has rated us as a top 50 public business school in the United States. CEO Magazine has put us as a tier one and Poets and Quants has listed us as a top 40 public school nationally and number one in Northeast Ohio. The, the reason I like Poets and Quants is because it actually uses real data instead of just perceptions. Um, they actually use student and employer data to calculate their rankings. And so we're really, we're very, very proud of where we end up in their rankings. Number four reason you want to come here is because of our business connections. We have an active business network of over 33,000 alumni. Over 1,000 of those individuals are executives that hold C-suite position titles, CEO or CFO. We have more than 270 executive and professional members that belong to one of 13 advisory boards for our College of Business. Our programs each basically have an advisory board of executives that tells us, here's the latest and greatest thinking that we want from graduates. They also serve as our guest speakers. They guide our curriculum. They help us develop case studies. So they're a very integral part of our business school. Our faculty have very strong ties to both regional and national businesses. That means you get automatically connected to all sorts of new networks. Number three is we have tremendous research faculty and industry experts that we employ to teach our courses. Our faculty are globally recognized as thought leaders in their fields. There are many, many articles that are published by our faculty and books with very prestigious rankings. Uh, last time I checked, we actually had 64 journal articles and prestigious peer-reviewed research journals and books in the last year alone. Um, we get a lot of national press and press coverage on the research. Our faculty are PhDs in their fields or experts we choose from specific industries to teach the courses where they're leading the way on their thought process. So all of our faculty are committed to student success. Number two reason is because of our, our small class sizes and our applied focus. We believe that you can apply tomorrow what you learn in class today. So if you look at the amount of personalized attention that's associated with this focused learning, I think that's indicative of our class sizes. Our evening MBA class size averages 20 students per class. Our weekend MBA is 15. Our Master of Science Accounting is 10. The MTAX program has eight and our MSM averages 15 students per class. That means really um, a lot of detailed learning that happens for each student. And the number one reason why I think you should want to come to the University of Akron for your graduate studies is because of the value that we offer. Our evening and online MBA tuition plus fees, make sure you compare that if you're looking at other schools because sometimes those are quite hidden comes in at around $20,000. The weekend professional model MBA is $33,000. That's for the 19 month cohort program, including everything. The MTAX online is $25,000 for the 15 month cohort. The MTAX evening is about under $17,000. And that is also true for the MSM and MSA programs. Now, when you compare that, for example, look at the MBA cost per credit hour and tuition. You'll see that Akron really looks the best in value. We have just about the best price, but if you look at the quality and number of our faculty, you'll see that clearly we offer the best value of any other school in Ohio. This is a look at our um, comparison for the professional MBA programs. Again, far and away, we have the best value, $33,000 for a 19 month program, when the other programs are ranging, you know, all the way up to $115,000. This indicates value. Again, by far the best bang for the buck. This is from an article in the Wall Street Journal recently of debt to earnings ratios for MBAs, the lowest Ratio obviously is the best, and Akron, Akron is by far the top of the heap. So University of Akron College of Business offers the best value for 
the money, and that's based on Wall Street Journal. So what is it that we care about? All this drives to one outcome that we focus on, and that is our students' success. Here are just a few of the companies that have recently hired our graduates. I don't think you'd be able to find a great company in the United States that doesn't have University of Akron graduates in a key leadership position. Obviously, I can only fit a few of them onto this uh, one slide, but uh, we're very proud of where our graduates go and what they're able to change in the business world and in the global context. Here are just a few photos of what some of the classrooms um, look like, the student activities and engagements. We actually bring in a really high number of um, uh, Fulbright scholars from around the world where they could choose any university in the United States. Many choose to come to the University of Akron. We have opportunities to engage with these eclectic international um, scholars and learn from them. We have a lot of um, activities that engage students in many different ways. And many of these are, you know, they're, they're activities generated by student teams as they're trying to illustrate leadership, organizational skills. Um, so it's not just fun and games, but sometimes we engage in fun and games to illustrate some of the key components um, related to, to leading and organizing. So just a couple of snapshots here, a couple of photos from some of the study abroad trips. Um, we visit emb embassies, we visit corporate headquarters, we learn about cultures and try to understand that different doesn't mean wrong. And so we truly believe that you can have a lot of fun, learn a lot and make new friends and network connections at the same time. So to wrap this up, why Akron? You have a lot of choices. Why would you come to the College of Business at the University of Akron? Well, I would ask you, what is it that matters to you? In your decision of programs, what matters? If you're large, if you want the largest school in size, that's not us. You should look elsewhere. If you're looking for the school that has the most football wins, I'm sad to say that's not us. If you are looking for focused development on key skills and knowledge with leadership preparation, professional development, and experiential learning, that is us. If you want expert faculty that really care and work with individual students, that's us. If you want a highly ranked program with excellent job, job placement, that's the College of Business at University of Akron. And if you want to make new friends and develop strong business network connections, that's us. So if you're just looking for the best overall value, we're the hands down choice, that's us. So you too could be a member of the Zips family, but you will have to learn how to make the Z. Left hand goes on top. So um, this is how you apply. There is one application um, web page that's for all graduate admissions at the entire university, whether it's polymer, chemistry, psychology, or business. It's a common application process. There are things that you have to include, transcripts. If you're an international st student, you have to include either TOEFL or IELTS score. Um, you need to include a resume and a letter of intent. Um, right now, because of COVID, we are waiving GMAT, GRE scores, and uh, there are rolling application deadlines. I think there's also a $50 application fee that's required. So that's the basis for, for how you apply to admissions. And here are some ways you can get more information. We do have a, a special page on our College of Business website. It tells a little more about the graduate programs. Here's an email and phone number. And I will stop here now and invite questions for anybody who would like some follow up or clarification or something we didn't talk about at all. Feel free to unmute and chime in. I'm gonna stop sharing. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I had a quick, quick question. question. Please. Can you, you do, do a mixture, a mixture of, of online, online and evening, evening classes? classes? So yes, you can. Um, we have because we have a full for the MBA program, you can have fully online or you can have evening classes. 
there's no problem if you want to bounce around between the two, depending on what you have going on that you know time of the year with your own family. That's right, you can take both. Thank you for that question. What other questions might you have? Yes, uh, do you know the pass rate after taking the MTAX uh, for the CPA exam? That's a great question. I do not know that. I'm sure the chair of accounting would know that. Do you happen to know that, Christina? I do not have the information. I'm sure they probably do. I'm not sure with the MTAX specifically, unfortunately. I will say um, uh, in recent years at least, um, I can't say for sure within the past couple of years that I know are accelerated programs. Students who went through either um, the MSA or the MTAX through the accelerated specifically, there was 100% first time uh, passage rate, but I can't say specifically students who, you know, maybe didn't do their undergraduate here um, and did their MTAX here, um, that I can't say for certain. Thank you for okay, the question you. though. Other questions? Happy to share some of my famous jokes also. <laughs> I'm gonna pop um, the contact information for uh, Dr. Wong, the chair of the School of Accountancy, into the chat here. If you do wanna reach out and talk to her more about the passage rates for MTAX program. Great idea. What, what, what are there other things? I'm sorry, please go ahead. Okay, sorry, because of my time zone, I just got the notification and joined. So I don't know if this question had been treated already. I would like to know that if um, someone start, let's say, a master's in taxation in UA and it wants to further to do the joint degree program, with the law in the law faculty was the process or the duration going to be like and what would be the possible way to go about after getting enrolled into the msc taxation and you would you have future plans to further to do the um, jd taxation yeah what so basically you? you're basically asking if i understood the question right how long it would take to do a joint JD MBA program, is that correct? Yeah, that's one. And then I'll, uh, um, if you have already, you already enrolled into the MSC taxation, which is not a joint program, and you would like to, in the end, do the proceed to the joint program, what's the procedure or the route? So um, I don't know, Christine, if you want to try and tackle that now, I will suggest that that's something that you will want to talk individually with Christina about. Normally, it is students that are admitted to the law school and then decide they want to do a Master of Taxation along with the law degree because that's a longer program. The law school degree is a minimum of three years full time. Um, so, so I'm going to suggest that that you contact Christina and actually have a private conversation about the details that will be involved with that. Christina, do you want to summarize anything else here? I am looking at our website right now to see if I can confirm one way or another. Um, I have not seen many students or heard of any really students doing this and I believe there is a limitation on um, like when courses can count depending on when you took them whether they can count for those different programs um, talking about coming in after the fact if you're in tax yeah you want to add yeah oh, that's a little bit unusual yeah so what I'll do is um, pop uh, link into the chat here so you can schedule an appointment with me if you'd want to um, kind of dive into this and try and find an answer together so that uh, we don't uh, 
so okay. that I don't give you anything that's not correct right uh -oh. now. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, it's a great question. We can we can find the answers to those things. I'm sorry, don't know all the details offhand, but that'll take a little more investigation, I think. Okay, thank you. You I'll bet. Be and, and by the way, I know I know you said you came in late because of time zone differences. Um, we yeah. will post this recording to YouTube. If you go to the okay. College of Business University of Akron channel on YouTube, you should be able to find the entire recording. Okay, thank you. That's that's great. What other issues are people interested in that we've not talked about? What else matters to you as you look at programs or trying to decide which direction to go or when to start? What else might be interesting to you? Mm, I think with that, I've already read enough from the university website and I've already applied to the program, so I'm waiting for the decision. Then if okay. anything else, I will yeah contact the appropriate you know thank you okay very good how about anybody else that's on the program right now any other issues or questions nicole i saw a hand up uh, i thought yep hi thank you and also um i believe i've met you once before i believe you presented to leadership hudson ah, yes that would um, be right nice mm -hmm. to see you again yeah nice to see you again um, uh, my question was for f the f fall um, semester. When should we have that application in? That's a great question. Um, for fall, uh, maybe I put it in here. August 1st okay. is the deadline. So I encourage you to be before that because sometimes there are hiccups and something getting didn't get attached properly or, you know, make sure transcripts are in that sort of a thing. So we can take them already now, um, but the deadline would be August 1st. Thanks. Thank you for the question. And I'll just add to that too. Um, keep in mind that registration for the fall semester starts um, much earlier than that to Dr. Asha's point. Um, and especially if you're interested in any of the online courses, those do often fill up pretty quickly. So the sooner you apply, the sooner you get admitted, the sooner you can enroll in classes. So that's another reason to think about applying early. Thank you. What else would anybody be interested in hearing about? You want to hear about our football wins? If you're familiar with our Unis of Akron football team, they have not been grand champions of uh, much for the last, last few years. However, we just hired an outstanding coach, highly desirable in the uh, marketplace. Actually, he's projected to have a, an enormously uh, strong career and, and many, uh, Experts, if you follow ESPN, were shocked that he chose to come here to the University of Akron. And it turns out he was an assistant coach here and he just loved it here. And he said the most fun he ever had was at schools like this. He's coming from Oregon right now and uh, is projected to be one of those superstar uh, football coaches. So I don't know how long we'll keep him, but I'll bet you we have really top recruits and an excellent team shortly. So I love to take that bullet point off that says we're not. Uh, winning the most football teams, just FYI. We do have championship soccer team perennially. They are almost always in the national championship playoffs, and we have one national championship in soccer in the past. Apologize for those who aren't interested or follow sports at all. Any other questions about our programs, uh, what classes are like, about our faculty, our location, uh, what we do when we have a blizzard, anything like that at all? Okay, um, I'd like to ask again that is there a facility or opportunity to take um, ACCA exams like we have maybe courses or classes for students in the business school who want to write ACCA exams. I don't know if we have that in the university at all. Okay. I 
I, I'm sorry I don't. Does anybody else that knows about UA online have any idea about that? I'm sorry, I don't know. It's a big campus with many components, and I just don't know about that one. I apologize. Mm. Okay. All right, thank you. I have never heard of or seen anything um, specifically for ACCA. Um, I know with, uh, so that is um, um, for professional accountants, it's another, I'm not familiar with it to be honest. Is it another form kind of of CPA? Yeah, ACCA is the um, Association of Certified Chartered Accountants is on global. Okay. I mean, our so our program in MSA and MTAX uh, will prepare students to take the CPA exams. I don't know how similar those exams would be, um, the CPA versus the ACCA, but that would be another thing where um, you could maybe reach out to uh, Dr. Lee Wong. Um, her contact information okay. is in the chat there, um, so she could probably tell you a little bit more about that than either Dr. Ash or I. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, I don't have more specific information than that. Okay. Does anybody else have any other questions or things you'd like to hear a little bit more about? If not, I encourage you to go to our web pages, come in for a visit. Would love to meet with you, show you around a little bit, and talk to you personally. Um, you know how to apply, hopefully, from the other information we've provided. And uh, if you have any questions, please follow up. We'd really be happy to talk with you. I don't think you'll find many universities where you have faculty, department chairs, administrators that are willing to spend time actually chatting, talking about what we have, what we offer, and why. So with that, I hope everybody has a lovely evening. It is a warm evening here in Northeast Ohio. It probably won't stay that way very long. Um, so enjoy your time, and I look forward to meeting you personally. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Christina. Hi. Yeah, so what time is appropriate to have a private chat with you? Is it possible to book now? Um, I will, I, I can stick around if you just have a couple of, of short questions. Um, but I did put the link in the chat as well if you'd want to schedule an appointment where we have maybe, you know, a half hour or more scheduled time to, to talk in more detail. Oh, okay. Do you see that link to schedule the appointment in the chat? Mm, yes, yes. Okay. Absolutely. Perfect. Okay. Like I said, if you just have a question or two right now, I can certainly try to answer um, other things. Uh, but if we need to get into more detail, it might be better just to schedule an appointment. Okay, then maybe I, I can put in one or two now. Okay. When I want to know how long does the um, admission process take for decision to come out, to be made? And so... Then, hmm. Okay. So um, I am will um, I will be uh, Dr. Ash and I will be starting to review some applications um, with the admissions committee uh, towards the end. Of, well, I guess it is getting towards the end of this week. So tomorrow and Friday, probably um, once we have reviewed everyone's applications who uh, who have submitted everything um, that mm -hmm. is required, um, the next step will be that it will go to the graduate school. Um, and then from there, uh, you would hear from the graduate school. Um, so uh -huh. it goes through a couple of different departments. But my hope is that if you have submitted everything that is required for your application, my hope is that you should hear something within Probably within a couple of yeah, weeks actually. at least. Oh, thank you. Actually, when I was applying the application portal, I found on the website, university website, I followed for graduate application. I I saw that they were requesting for a reference, nursing reference, three of them. So I was confused and because I needed to come, it was a required 
um, required for me to complete or fill in those places before I could submit the application. So I did that. I, I provided details for referees and then was able to submit the application. And then my referees contacted me asking whether I'm applying for a nursing program because they cannot give me reference or they cannot do recommendation for nursing because they don't know my abilities to pursue or enroll in a nursing program. So I contacted the school by one of the emails for um, business school, UA College of Business, mm -hmm. and the person responded and told me that she doesn't know which portal I used because UA does not even require business school does not even require reference at all right. so i had to send my document my i then transcript sop and um, the i think there's another one i submitted three documents to okay to that email perhaps so i don't know Oh, okay, so I don't know if that's the right and then it's going to be reviewed or not. Yeah, I just pulled up your information actually, and I can confirm that your application is complete and you should be reviewed. Uh, uh, you, you, your application should be included in the review this week and next week. Okay. okay, okay, all right, thank you. And then also about funding, how possible, how possible is it for me to get funding or assistantship. Dr. Ash, I'll let you uh, respond to the question about assistantship. Yeah, we only, okay. have, we only have a few um, teaching assistantships. They are part time and they're very competitive. Mm -hmm. So um, we won't know until we get the applicant pool who would earn those. So we can't make any mm -hmm. promises about that. Oh, OK, all right. We have some so, scholarships, but uh, scholarships for graduate students are unfortunately pretty limited. Um, I will, let me pop the link for that. You can certainly apply, but like I said, I just like to make it clear that um, as far as scholarships go, it those are pretty limited too, unfortunately. Yeah, okay. the thing is that we offer really a, a really good value for the money. So most people come here say they're going to, you know, they'll they'll take on the debt or do whatever is necessary because the earnings that come out of our degree usually more than make up for any um, mm -hmm. cost that was incurred. So we're a very high value program where people don't usually okay. need a lot of extra help. Oh, I did though okay. put the link in the chat there. If you would like to apply for the business graduate uh, scholarships, you're certainly welcome to. Okay. All right, thank you. Mm. That's great. So I think that will be that for now. That will okay. be all for now. And, then and again, after, feel, mm. I was just going to say, feel free to schedule uh, an appointment with me too if you do have other questions, especially, you know, um, once you get that decision uh, from the graduate school on admissions, um, if or hopefully when uh, you are accepted into the program, uh, we can certainly chat more than talk about classes and kind of those next steps from there. Mm, okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks for coming. Thanks for all your questions. You're welcome. I appreciate hope, hope, you. Yeah, I hope we get a chance to meet you face to face. Sure, sure. All I right. hope to. Bye bye. Right. Good luck. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you.